Inside the control room of the Collider Accelerator Complex at Brookhaven National Lab, scientists are using the relativistic heavy ion collider known as RIC to understand the basic structure of matter. Understanding how nature works gives us the basic ingredients for technology. For the past two decades, this has given researchers a one-dimensional look at how atoms are composed. But a new multi-billion dollar high-speed facility will act like an electron microscope for scientists to take 3D pictures of the internal structure of the building blocks of atoms and study the strongest force in nature that holds them together. Bert Mueller is the associate laboratory director for nuclear and particle physics. The uh, project is called the Electron Ion Collider, which is a new type of collider, an accelerator that collides different types of particles, electrons with protons and atomic nuclei more generally, in order to explore the internal structure of the, the atomic nucleus. Uh, and the forces that hold it together. The current collider will continue to operate for the next five years while work on the new one is underway. After that, the plan is to shut down the existing collider to install new components. The goal is to finish the project by 2030. So this is an aerial view at an angle of uh, the site at the lab. In yellow is the currently existing uh, iron ring that are part of the relativistic heavy ion collider. The green and the red will be the two new rings accelerating and storing electrons. Brookhaven National Lab was chosen by the U.S. Department of Energy in part because of its already existing collider. It will create thousands of jobs and will be a step in establishing Long Island as the center of innovation and technology opens up the possibility of many applications. Building this accelerator may lead to other advances in medicine, national security, and other types of technology. In Upton, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.